And so you can see here, it looks like a pineapple, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Yeah. All right. Yeah, and then again, this part, you know, we would have popped this off, so we wouldn't have all this. So this is what it looks like. And uh, I think last year, two years ago, we did it, and we went out to a place on the reservation called Wim Hu. It's shaped like a, a pipe. The mountain is shaped like a pipe. And it's over on the edge of um, one of the Wallapai Sacred Canyons near Marawitka, Makwitka. Um, so we gathered about 75. This rose deep feature that we're all standing around would hold quite a bit more than that. Um, so gathering the agave is only one stage of the process. The next stage is um, cutting off all of the spines to as many as you want to roast. Then the next phase is uh, going into the canyon and finding a, a milk dot, a barrel cactus. And uh, we we have quite a few here, but since we're not going to do a roast, we're not going to harvest one. And uh, that's all the spines are cut off the barrel cactus and it's sliced like bread in big cir circle loaves. And that's used in the roasting process um, to keep the uh, VL from scorching. It provides uh, moisture and steam and uh, ensures that it will not burn. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you can pass this around if people wanna look at it. Um, I'm going to just talk about the, the roasting process. And um, a pit is dug um, to the specifications of how many agave hearts that you have. We tend to do it about uh, maybe a three by three or um, four by three, whatever, about uh, approximate a square and we go about three feet deep. And uh, sometimes you can do a square, you can do a circle, or you can do an oval. Um, just depends on how you want to do it. But um, the wood that's used in the roasting process is, is juniper. And this is done uh, so that it, it doesn't burn so hot that it scorches the agave. Another plant that you would not use would be mesquite because the wood burns too hot. So juniper is gathered and uh, a number of large rocks are gathered and then of various sizes. Uh, one's about this size, large, and then um, football size ones, softball size ones, all the way down uh, to pebbles. And so um, generally the, the one uh, running the show, an elder of the family, would go ahead and line the pit. And they're gonna do four pits and uh, four circles or four rocks in each uh, corner of the pit and, and then one in the center, the heart rock. And so these represent the, the four directions and the, and the Mother Earth in the center. And those are considered doorways. They, they provide a, a form of ventilation for the uh, smoke to escape. Then uh, the juniper wood, um, some of the longer sticks are lined on top of these, uh, these um, directional stones they're framed on top and then they're crossed through the center like an X and then um, it's framed again zigzagging logs um, and then after it has been framed out and there's little pockets of ventilation then the, the various sizes of stones are thrown in and then more wood and rocks and until you've filled up the pit fairly high, um, maybe uh, two-thirds full. And then um, the elder in charge will select, uh, generally speaking, the youngest male present. And they'll be um, instructed to light the four corners of, of the pit. And this is done, uh, this, this child has to be born in the summertime. And this is done so that 
it ensures that the um, agave will burn, burn nice and hot. And so that child will be selected and he'll light the, the four corners. And then um, the, that wood is going to burn and heat up the, those rocks um, most of the day, several hours. And so uh, it's a time of, you know, sitting around and, and chatting and talking with one another and waiting for the fire to burn down and get those rocks hot. Once all the coals have burned down, much like you wait for a barbecue for the coals to burn down and turn gray, the same with the, with the roasting pit. Once they've burned down, one, uh, uh, one of the gentlemen will um, take a, whatever tool is available and, and tamp down the rocks and make them nice and flat, tamp the coals down to a nice even bed. Um, and then the, the milk dot, the barrel cactus slices are placed all across the surface. And then the, the VL hearts that have been gathered are placed on top. In modern times, we use the foil to keep the dirt off. Um, Beans was saying the same thing, that they used uh, burlap sacks um, in more uh, contemporary times. I'm not sure. Maybe they used a hide they, um, back then. But now we use a, a burlap sack, and we, d we dampen it to aid the, the barrel cactus. And that's placed over after all of the agave hearts have been put in. And again, the agave hearts are sitting on top of the barrel cactus slices. And then you have the wet burlap sack. Then it's okay to go ahead and throw the dirt back in, bury the agave, and uh, someone will watch the, watch the pit um, stay there. And then everybody else comes back the next day, uh, at least 24 hours, um, dig up the agave. And uh, it should be nice and warm and soft and tastes similar to molasses. Um, the outer, the outer pieces um, that are, the outer layers that where these leaves had had come off of, you can pull off just like an artichoke, and you and you chew on all of the um, the meat, and you spit out the fibers, and it's uh, very high in in a lot of calcium, um, some iron, and there's quite a few other um, minerals and vitamins that this plant contains, and then uh, the heart. With after all these little pieces have been peeled off like an artichoke and chewed on, the heart is called the squin, and that's the best part because you don't have to throw out any fiber. It's just, it's just pure meat. Um, it's the consistency of a squash, like a acorn squash, um, but it's very, very sweet and um, rich flavor. And so uh, everybody digs in and eats, and then um, the leftover is processed. Uh, it can be pounded on a metate. And, um, and sort of pounded into like a flat cake and dried in the sun. And then that's something that can be stored in for the winter, get you through the winter. And when you want to eat it, you can pull it out and, and chew on it, or you can add water and, and yield a, a juice from it. That, uh, the process is called vielnyuk. That's agave roasting.